hello, 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 rolling with the homies. So I think that this episode is going to have like a clip or two from before vacation, but it's after vacation. I am back, unfortunately, on my way to substitute as usual, getting back in the groove. I have some exciting news for you guys today to share on my way. We are officially house hunting. We got pre-approved for our loan and everything. Talk to the mortgage brokers, talk to the lender, talk to the real estate people. And now we just kind of have to pick what we want and settle. I'm very excited. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot more exciting to look for a home than a rental property, obviously. And that's why we moved back in with my husband's parents for the meantime was so that we could save up this money for the down payment. And I tell you, I don't know where in the world you live and how much your rent is, but after utilities, it was about $1,650, about $1,700 a month. We're excited for this new journey in our marriage, the next big step, you know? You get married, you buy a house, and then everything goes from there. So we're really excited to get this process started, and hopefully I will be able, whoop, and hopefully I will be able to bring you guys along on some of the journey. I hope you can't see the amount of pollen on my window because it has definitely unleashed in the past couple of days and everything everywhere is yellow. Matter of fact, let me do my windshield. Ew, it's like pollen soup. But for now, I am dropping hubby off some lunch on my way to the school and I will holler at y'all later. We just might go look at a couple of houses this afternoon, so. Oh no, I gotta readjust my my mount because it's all loosey goose. Aeon's first bicycle! Ibrahim, you don't just run out into the street like that, boy. <laughs> what, 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 what? You're gonna fall. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Well, first day back to the salon after vacation, and <coughs> I'm actually feeling a little sick my nephews, the oldest, the older nephews, third birthday today, so we went and gave him his toys and everything, we got him a little bicycle with a matching helmet and all that, you know, like a queen, and then now I am exhausted and on the way to work for the rest of the night, so I forgot my sunglasses, I mean, uh, not my sunglasses, it's a gloomy day here, but I forgot my glasses to see my haircuts, and I forgot my lunch, so that's that netflix update after i watched the hold on let me restart after i watched the fundamentals of caring it suggested a show called love to me and i know i've said something about it to you guys before and i just finished it it's two seasons at like 12 or 13 episodes a season and i i think that it's definitely got like a specific demographic if i should say it's a little strange, the people in there are like just really awkward and blunt and weird and like, it's definitely refreshing to watch, however, after the 13 reasons because, I mean, everybody knows about all that suicide story and everything, so after watching that huge depressing ass series, I thought it was pretty funny and light to watch, you know, these crazy people interact in, you know, relationships and whatnot. So there was that, and then I, what else did I watch? We watched the um, Larry the Cable Guy and Jeff Foxworthy comedy series. I thought that was okay. It wasn't like they didn't have any actual new content, but it was okay. <clears throat> we watched the Gabriel Iglesias one. That was all right, but it was like, you know, like I said, the same punchlines. Who did I watch? Joe Coy was really hilarious. Um, I watched, what is his name? Adam Sandler's something Wexler, right? Um, I just started that. That one's a series. I think I might be on the second or third. Maybe I'm on the third. You don't really keep track of how long you're binging. Um, so I think I'm on like the third episode and then after that I would have to tell you more but right now I'm just kind of blankly staring at it while I didn't have anything else to do. So that is my Netflix update for now. A little car karaoke for you guys since it's my first day really back. I do like this song. 
I do like this one. since I got new brushes and I'm gonna make a container or a case some kind of cute holder for my new brushes so you will have to stay tuned for that one guys like always like comment and subscribe give me a thumbs up if this is the kind of videos that you like and uh, just uh, just say no if you guys don't like these rolling with the homies vlogs you know I can do one once a month or I don't know well guys, I am at work and my hair looks an absolute mess. I'm going to go inside and fix this, clock in, eat, do some hair. Guys, there's a rainbow in the sky because it rained so much today. But as soon as I turn on my stupid camera to show you, you can't see it anymore. There it is, there's a little piece of it. Oh, can't see it anymore. Never mind. But it is yet another day. I am off early. It is 7.30 and the sun is still shining bright even though it just rained its butt off. I had to wait like 15 minutes to leave work because I didn't want to run out into the rain. But I'm on my way to go do more hair. I'm doing uh, some of my, uh, like my in-laws, family, friends hair at their house because it's like five or six of them and there's no point in them coming into the shop and you know waiting and sitting one by one to get a free haircut in between customers that are paying me you know so I might as well just go to their house and get them all done at one time and then go about my day but I need to use my GPS to find their actual residence so I will holler at y'all later it's a beautiful day I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna cook dinner it's gonna be great what is this mess I do not want to be driving to work right now, guys. Raining its butt off today. So, 
probably gonna be like a munchy day at work today. I feel like getting like a sub and a big bag of chips and like a pickle. So, and I have two containers of Oreos. Well, one's already half empty, but that has been my snack of choice lately. So, that's gonna be that today. I really need to put on some lipstick and do these bangs. Well, I look a little worse than I thought I did, but hello friends. I am off to my nail appointment early on my day off. As usual, there is a big fingerprint in my glasses. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Knee driving, can't see, approaching red light. Okay, so yes, hubby is off getting his hair cut as usual while I go get my nails did come back uh, I have to put my face on he has to shower after his haircut and then we will probably go out for lunch if not um, we were wanting to go fishing today I don't know if or when that will be able to happen but if it does that'll be pretty fun it's like super on, can you tell it's like super duper cloudy I'll show you it's super duper cloudy today so not exactly sure what kind of fishing we'll be getting done, but I know that we will definitely make something good of our day off together. Like always. I'm seriously getting tired of getting stuck at this light every day. CVS is right there. You guys have seen this intersection more in my channel than probably any of my actual content. Ugh, why do I look so rough? And what's going on with my hair? My hair is like half washed. It's called a co-wash. When you have bangs and they look greasier than the rest of your hair, so you just want to wash the bangs and not the rest of your hair. Ah, uh, bumps in the road. As you can see, there are tons of boxes and things in my car again, which means movement. Now I have to make it all the way across these four lanes of traffic, wait at the U-turn, and then be able to cut through all the other four lanes of traffic to get to my nail shop that's literally right there. Go! Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't tell me nothing. Wait for this car to pass. And whip it. Ooh. And now we're here. Hey, peoples. It is another day. It is hot as hell today. My, one of my friends from high school lives in North Dakota. And it's snowing its butt off up there. And I'm blasting my AC. But... This is the result of my nail appointment yesterday, this lovely blue color. So I'm wearing this awesome peacock necklace today to match my blue. And I am off to work as usual. I just ran around and played with my nephews for a little while before I had to leave. And now I am going to try to get to work a little early. To get a jump on those tips, you know what I mean? Gilmore Girls from the pilot on. Now I am on like season three, I think. Uh, I finished Love. I finished Skin Wars. I finished Adventureland. That was a movie that I had started watching and never really did finish. I need to finish The Good Neighbor which was like a Disturbia type suspense thing. And what else? Um, oh, I started watching Girl Boss. Um, I've seen the commercials for the Netflix original series um, recently. I don't know if it's a new series. 
to be honest. I don't really even, I didn't even check if there was more than one season, but it's called Girl Boss, and it's about this 23-year-old girl that just kind of jumps around place to place, and she's kind of a gypsy soul. She finds out that she can buy thrifted, um, you know, vintage and antique um, type of clothes and resell them online. So, uh, right now she has sold a vintage jacket and a wedding dress and uh, I don't I really don't even think anything else she's just kind of up and coming she's got a lot of parental issues she doesn't have any friends you know she doesn't have um, a good she doesn't have any siblings she doesn't have a good support system so it's just kind of one of those erratic off the wall spontaneous type people it's kind of like that series that I just finished love um, where she's just kind of a rolling stone and the Lord knows what's gonna happen next on the series so that's that for the Netflix update of today every time I put my glasses on the Sun goes away oh I know you have all heard me complain about sitting at that CBS light for a prolonged amount of time but I've come to find out that when I take the left at that light and then I'm approaching the next light where I turn right it's a merge right so every time I'm stuck up at that light at the CBS I always make it when those turn lanes are on green so I can merge before the straight traffic comes again so uh, I think it's better to wait at a light than it is to wait at a merge I don't know you guys know how I am my driving anxiety I feel like I'm talking with my hands like extra crazy today because I love this manicure did you guys see that video that's online it's this young black girl and she has like these really long like tips on she doesn't really even have like her nails done she just has these like long things on and the whole thing she's like ah. like it's just so funny it's so cute she's feeling herself and she just took a video of it and posted it to the world it's cute she went viral so shout out Tomorrow we pick up my in-laws from the airport again and they're back in town after a month. I'm back from vacation after a month. All of my vacation vlogs are up now. I really need to find time between all of my all the stuff I have going on with buying a house and working two jobs and trying to have a social life and being able to sleep, I really need to try and fit YouTube in there again a little more because to be honest, I I didn't run out of content for you guys. I still have a whole list of ideas and like things written out for you all, but I just haven't been able to sit down and do any of it. Usually I have like two or three videos that I'm in process of editing before I post it, so I have things throughout the week to work on. But really hoping that tomorrow morning I will be able to have time for that. I don't think I'm gonna go to the actual airport so maybe while everybody's gone I'll have time to do it. We'll see because I might go look at houses instead. All right well I guess that's gonna be it for today. I went to call my hubby while I'm on my way to work today and I will holler at y'all. Recording in traffic is still so awkward. Bye guys. Do I want a Tahoe? I feel like that looks pretty dope. I'm not sure if this is an officer in front of me or not, but I'm just gonna like, you know, coast behind him because he's going about 80. And uh, we'll see if I get pulled over or not. It was, it was an officer. I can see his lights right there. And another one just passed. Oh, and these two guys just started revving. Like these two guys just started revving up at the light and the officer turned his lights on and was like, yo, y'all need to chill. Oh my goodness, those guys. That was the funniest thing. I wish I could have gotten more of that on video. I came to the red light and saw that it was a cop in front of me and the next thing you know, it's a, a big truck and a Jeep next to each other at the light and they're revving and like, you know, revving Ford and everything waiting for the green light. And the cop in front of me, 
turned his lights on just a little whoop whoop and they both hit their brakes so hard <laughs> and they went, the officer was just like waved at him and was like you need to calm down buddy oh my god I would have crapped myself all right well now I'm at work and I ended up vlogging a lot longer past when I said peace out so peace out